<laughs> How's everybody doing? <laughs> oh wow. Uh well, we are going to do today um Aries and Pisces. And I'm doing the webcam. Like I said, I'm not using my phone, so it's very, you know, so you know, you know. <laughs> I don't even know how this works, you know, so I hope, you know, that it works out pretty well. I'm definitely going to need better makeup. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, we're going to talk about um, um, cardinal fire and mutable water. Now, again, we're healing, we're here dealing with a... A square, an elemental square. Water and fire don't go well. But yet, water and fire as a powerful force and combination pertaining to an example using Mother Nature. We can say that water, when it hits, when, when, when fire or magma hits salt water of the ocean, it creates island contents. I've talked a lot about that in many of my uh other videos, right? So in keeping with that analogy, we can also say that these two explosive elements that are so uh, important for the life on this planet to continue as we know it, there's a lot to say about when these two forces get together, the enormous impact that they can have and that they can um, impact to each other, but not so much towards each other, but also the environment. The environment, you know, it, it, it is where the Aries and the Pisces, both men or women of either side, can do the best that they can to elevate the environment. They have the ability to do this. As a couple, <laughs> this is a power couple, okay? And the thing about this combination, which we consider compatibility of signs, because even though there is an elemental square, there is a modality, um, cardinal mutable, that can actually gel and blend together. Okay, the elemental square has a lot to do with the order of operations, how they function, how they act, how they come across, and what their pathos and convictions are, which drives their motivations, which drives their behavior, psychologically speaking. Okay, so understand that Aries, being very cardinal, will always act on his own accord. He's not going to really ask permission or request permission from the Pisces woman. The Aries man, remember, in his mind, he is the knight in shining armor. He has a highly idealistic, romantic picture in his mind of how he wants his women to be. Like the Leo man, Mr. Aries wants they, they deify their women. They put them up on a, spirit, a pedestal of sheer romance and glamour and beauty and, and, and everything that you find in a fairy tale when you're dealing with a woman concerning the Aries man. Understand that the opposite polarity of Aries is Libra which is ruled by Venus, okay? The eternal and hopeless romantic. So understand that Aries has a very romantic, powerful romantic idealism within his nature. He just doesn't talk about it. He doesn't talk about it. And he requires his woman to instinctively know what he likes and what he approves of. Even though Mr. Aries would not take the time to specifically communicate what he requires and what he needs 
in a woman, particularly a woman that's going to be in his arm. It, it does. It, he might not even, for example, see the actual person in front of him, but actually see the outward image. And that's enough for him to have that woman in his arm because she's beautiful. So she's going to inspire the romantic fantasy that all men, which starts out as young boys, have a fantasy about our women and about dreams. The Aries man wants to be the first guy on the block to have that image, that dream actually personified in the women that all of us men, all of us boys, have wet dreams over. He wants to have that type of woman and be the envy of every man who sees him with this type of woman in his arm. And she has to be everything that he expects her to be without him having have to ask her to provide this for him. You understand? He will not utter a word about its requirements. And remember, I talked about that in my other videos about the Aries man. The Aries man, not so much the Aries woman. They will actually, the Aries woman will actually enter into a contract and she will actually detail it and specify it. But when it comes to the Aries man, he ain't going to tell you that he has just entered into a contract with you. It is an unwritten contract, an unspoken contract. I'm going to, you're going to be my girlfriend, provided that you still are beautiful. You keep yourself up. You keep the image up. Kind of like Mr. Capricorn, who requires status and prestige over love and any real legitimacy of depth within the character of a person, which is rather paradoxical because Capricorn is the sign that deals with character and integrity. But yet, the paradox is that outward appearances and, 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 and concerns of uh, having been the best looking man, the best dressed man, having the highest influence in town doesn't seem to confer true, genuine integrity of character. It's plasticity. So there's somewhat of a hypocritical tone and notion behind the Capricorn man and the Aries man, but also Cancer and Libra. So you can say the most cardinal signs. You know, you have kind of like a dual paradoxical moral code in which they might apply what they say to others, but then when it comes to them, they have a certainly a, a whole set of different requirements. Well, let me tell you this. When it comes to the Pisces woman, the Aries man has struck it rich. Because he, she will be everything that he embodies and imagines. Because if there's any woman that can bring out the real fantasy of the inner vision of a man towards the outer manifestation in reality, in real time, it's Miss Pisces. Miss Pisces will be that bitch that that man thinks and dreams and jerks off about. She will be that. That's why she's she's known as a woman that can steal men from other women, like Miss Leo. Not because um, they seek out to do it, but because they embody that dreamy, antithetical notion that these men, the Capricorn men, the Leo men, are like, along with Libra, and particularly the Aries men, have this inner fantasy, this inner image of how their woman should be. And God forbid that they don't fit that image because then the magic breaks and the Aries man starts looking elsewhere. So understand, the, 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 the Aries man can be very complex in his interaction with the woman that he chooses only because he really doesn't talk to her, really doesn't go into details. He's very lucky that 
not so much is required from him for the Pisces woman to understand him. Remember, the Pisces woman is a cosmic mirror. She's going to see her Aries man. She's going to see right through him. You cannot fuck with Miss Pisces. She's going to see right through you. Down to the very core of your soul. She's going to know what you need, what you lack, what you want, what you feel. I'm telling you. Uh, an extraordinary woman. And this is why this combination is considered the compatibility of science because these two people, as different and as odd as they are, it can actually work. <laughs> we're going to jump right in. And we're going to... um discuss more of the specificities, you know, involving, you know, a, a Pisces man and an Aries woman and vice versa. But first, let's begin with the Pisces woman. <laughs> Love talking about the Pisces woman. She's dreamy. She's dreamy. Yummy. <laughs> you know, she's going to see all the games and all the antics of Mr. Aries. And she's going to find him cute. Now, it depends, too. Hopefully, she's not dealing with an angry man. Hopefully. Hopefully. If she's not dealing with a man who's disturbed and mean and nasty and sinister. And, you know, with Aries, you, you don't know. Aries, by nature, in trueness of heart, the Aries men, like the Aries women, mean no harm. They mean no harm. They are who they are, you know, fire. You know, there, there's no in justification for the integrity of the element of fire. Fire is fire. Nothing you can do about it. So these, this is who he is or who she is. And for you to be with a person of that kind of fiery intensity where there's never a dull moment with these people, that you have to be quite a person that's willing to put up with a lot. And trust me, there's a lot to put up with when you're dealing with the fire children. The Pisces woman, because of her multifaceted nature, her dual nature, her ability to be 12 different women in one hour, in one minute, in one day, in one week, she'll be his sister, she'll be his lover, his mother, and she'll be everything towards this man. If he needs healing, she'll be the eternal nurse. And she'll be Lady Chatterley. This woman is a chameleon. This woman will heal the Aries man if he's troubled. Let me tell you. Ooh, <laughs> an extraordinary couple. She's beautiful, mystical, mysterious. And he's masculine and virile and very forward. Miss Pisces loves that. What? Miss Pisces with an Aries man? She'll be like those women in those porno movies. Splashing and squirting all over the place. You know, because I, an Aries man loves sex and he takes it and he slays it and smashes and all that stuff. And, you know, the Pisces woman, and he likes to be forceful and controlling, almost like he's raping you. You know, there's a lot of aggression in the sense with Mr. Aries. The Pisces woman who loves that will surrender to that kind of passion. That hungry abandon. So there's definitely no problem in that department. He can handle her and she can definitely handle him in that area. And that is part of the magic that keeps the two people together. Because it is fire underwater. Remember, fire and water together create land and island continents. So understand the fiery passion that these two people can have together. 
Oh, it's something to behold. But then, the problem becomes, uh, the problem becomes the inconsistencies of Pisces. The Pisces woman is so changeable, so mutable, so unpredictable. Remember, we're dealing with we're dealing with two fishes swimming in opposite directions. So, when the Aries man leaves to go to work or go wherever he's gonna go, and he comes back. He's not going to come back to the same woman he left that morning. He might encounter a moody Virgo bitch. He must not say anything. He'll go take a shower. When he comes out of the shower, he finds a woman in the kitchen being bubbly and giddy and putting all his food on the table and actually feeding him you know, with her lips and her mouth. <clears throat> that could be a Taurus woman. And then when he's done eating, and he goes out and takes a phone call because his cell phone ran, and then he's done with the phone call, he comes to the bedroom, and the woman is in some kind of teddy bear, ready for some hot sex. Now she's a Scorpio. The Pisces woman can be 12 women in one, and it can happen at any moment, any day, any time. And Mr. Aries got to keep up. And the Aries man can become confused with these kinds of quixotic behaviors of the Pisces woman. But not because she's trying to fuck with him. She's just being herself. The problem is that Mr. Aries doesn't pay attention to detail. And if he is more observant of his women, he will understand and again, to appreciate the different dimensions of the women that he encounters. This morsel of a woman is one woman that he's going to need to figure out and need to slow down. Because Aries, and this is the message to you, Mr. Aries, you need to slow down and take a look at the people that are in front of you. If you don't do this, there's no way at all. I think there's too much lighting. There's no way, Mr. Aries that you're going to, um, too much shadow. Oh, God. Now I understand why so many celebrities bitch about lighting, you know, because some of it casts shadow. And, uh, um, understand that this is, um, the Pisces woman, you've got to slow down and pay attention to her. That doesn't mean that you're going to get a head start in understanding her and trying to figure her out. It's going to take time. This is, again, one of uh, the combinations that actually deals with the fact that if you're much older, this can be a far more productive relationship than if you're younger and just, again, discovering yourself, experimenting with each other. You know, understand that if you are serious about a relationship, you've got to be able to understand that relationships evolve over time and it really really helps if you know something about yourself going in like i mentioned this and i mentioned this in all my videos and whether your partner that's coming in also knows herself or himself enough where both of you can then mature with maturity come to a consensus and which both of you can coexist together because this is truly is a beautiful combination. And as a beautiful combination that it is, it should merit. I think it's worth putting the energy and putting the investment and in wanting to get to know each other. Pisces is romantic, and she can be that ideal romantic imagery of a dream woman that Mr. Aries always had in his, always has in his mind. 
she can personify that. The Aries woman, let me tell you, if she loves you, especially Mr. Aries, she'll put up with almost anything. She'll put up with almost anything. The problem is that the mood swings of Miss Pisces can confuse and throw Mr. Aries for a loop. And because she might project emotions and feelings that may have nothing to do with him and might have to do maybe with what she went through during the course of the day a job, or going down the street or something she saw on TV. You know, you never know what could trigger the Pisces woman's emotions, you know. And if you don't know her well enough to understand that this woman is an emotional sponge, and if you throw a sponge in a mud or in a puddle and it's dirty water, it's going to absorb that. If you throw it in a pond of fresh, clear water, it's going to absorb that. She's an emotional sponge, and she picks up vibrations and emotional feel based from different people and even different places, you know. And Mr. Aries, if you're not sensitive or at least perceptive, because you've got to be perceptive of the woman that's in front of you. And if you're not perceptive of the woman that's in front of you, you're not going to really get to know her, and you're not going to know how to treat her. And that's why you can fuck up shit. Mr. Aries. I'm talking to you, Mr. Aries. Understand that this woman is a sparrow. She's sensitive. She's not an eagle or a hawk or a pelican. A sparrow. One of the most vulnerable of the bird species. And there's over 37,000 bird species on the planet. The sparrow and the species of the sparrow is the most weakest and vulnerable. Just like the little bubble or bluefish of the ocean. You know, the big one, you know, the goldfish. Innocent. Like finding Captain Nemo, Nemo I think it's called. Right? That cute little fish, so innocent. Anything can eat it. That's Pisces. But don't forget that Pisces can also be a shark or a killer whale. Like a, like a orca or a hunchback whale. It could be a Caesar sh uh, head or a hammerhead shark. So Pisces is not that innocent. Pisces also come to many cloaks. The Pisces woman understand that when you hurt her, she becomes vindictive. Oh, this woman is vindictive. Be careful, Mr. Aries, because she can tow the toe at you. You understand that when you're with the cosmic mirror of the Zodiac, there's no defeating that. She becomes who you are. She will color and morph into what you are. So if you don't like the Pisces woman or her behavior, understand that it's a mirror reflection about you and who you are. You will probably learn more from a Pisces woman relationship than you will, that, than you would any other woman. Because she's going to show you who you are. Another woman that will do that, Mr. Aries, is Miss Scorpio. She's another one that will, by example, teach you who you are. And But you know, Mr. Aries, you love these types of women. <laughs> Because you love a challenge, and you love someone that can actually understand you and deal with you, you know, on your terms. And this this woman is willing to do that. She's willing to jump into the abyss with you. The question is, Mr. Uh, Pisces, are you, uh, Mr. Aries, are you willing to jump in? yourself along with her you know I know you got a sword but sometimes the best battle is done without the sword and victory always goes to the one 
who exercises wisdom in wielding the sword. Miss Pisces will be the type of woman that will help you use that energy and that power, which is your cardinality, with wisdom.